Hello everyone and welcome. So it's me again, Mike, also known as Tyrion Raider by my YouTube username, and today I'll be playing some Doom. I'll be playing some Doom with a bit of a twist. I'm using free mods. I'm using the complete set of Dusted Pandemonium mods, which includes Dusted Pandemonium, Insurrection, Extra Monsters, Extra Enemies, all that stuff. Also, I'm using Corruption Cards, which is compatible with Dusted Pandemonium, and I'm also using a Map Order Shuffle. So this is the original Doom game. It includes um, the first three episodes of Doom, as well as an extra fourth episode added in 1995 as part of the Ultimate Doom. So that's what I'm playing today. So just to specify, it's not one of the new Dooms. It's actually an old Doom, but here it is. As you can see, in the corner it says ID Software 1993. So that kind of gives it away. So it's the original, but I won't talk too much. I'm actually just going to start a new game. Going to start on ultra violence and because there is free mods and a random shuffle we don't know what exactly we're going to get and it's going to be a bit different in terms of gameplay than our usual doom experience so let's go where will we start oh nuclear plant okay i guess we'll just go on standard mode for corruption cards and modified this is modified for dusters pandemonia so there is compatibility between the dusters pandemonia mod and corruption cards so we'll just work with that and now we choose our destiny, choose a card, the effects will last until the level ends. It says that at the top there. So we have the firecracker enchantment. We have overgrowth and we have gravity bombs. The um, firecracker enchantment, that's tier one. And these two are both tier two. We'll look at the descriptions for each of the cards. So firecracker enchantment, infinite species explode several times shortly after dying. So that's one modification we can choose for this level. Or we could choose the overgrowth, add vegetation near certain monsters. Or we could use gravity bombs. Pistol zombie and its species gain the ability to throw bombs that cause entities to float. That's actually quite fun. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Also, I've played this game before, so some of the cards are collected. That's uncollected, and that is uncollected. I've played with that before. That was quite amusing. But maybe not with pistol zombie, but with other enemies that could do that. Um, so we could choose the firecracker enchantment, but... I think I might choose Overgrowth because I like to go with high tier cards for the cards that last one level. There are cards that last throughout the game, but we won't have to face them yet. Not for the first two levels anyway. So I think what we'll do is we will choose Overgrowth and we'll see what happens. Where we go. Shooting down as much as I can. Whoop. Ha! Got him with the barrel. As you can see also, different pistol. I think that's due to Duster's Pandemonium Insurrection. I play all these mods together, so I get confused as to which one has certain elements. Whoop. Down you go, you imp. Whoop. And there is another guy around the corner. Down you go too. Oh, and we have an augment right here, so I'll just pick that up. So that will give us extra strength. We'll use that on a different weapon. Oh, there's some of that vegetation right now. And, oh, someone's hiding behind it, I think. Who's hiding behind the vegetation? Wait, there you are. Ha, they're working to their own advantage. Anyway, I'm just going to pick up that armor. It's not a green armor, but a silvery armor. So what properties does that armor have? Operative armor, 40% defense, 35% fire resistance. So resistant to certain elements. We have a green armor there, but worry about it we can actually drop the silver armor and pick that up instead and this is a security armor which is 35% defense 30% bullet resistance I think on this level bullet resistance is a bit more practical so we might just pick that also we've still got our strength augment but I want a particular weapon first that we can use that on so I'm just just gonna go up here sorry I'm just bumping into every wall <laughs> yes we want our shotgun get that strength augment onto it and I think there's more ammo over here, so let's go over here. I think I got some more ammo from that corpse, in fact. Yep, a little bit more vegetation there, a little pretty plant right there. Okay, back around this way we go. We picked up all the ammo. Might be a few extra ammo clips to pick up, but I think we're about done. Anyway, over here, down you go, sir. We've already opened that door. We flipped the switch in the little secret room. Whoop! As you can see with the mod, some of the monsters are a bit more fancy and different. So this will be quite an interesting game. See if I can get that barrel right there. Hmm. Maybe up the next step. Oh, 
that's caused a lot of noise from everyone outside. So I'm going to just stand here. Uh oh, damn it. Okay. We lost a bit of health there, but we got two down at once. Oh, I see you there. More shotguns. And we've got a fancier shotgun too. Maybe I'll just put that away for now. I've got some killing to do. Oh. You're all going to be hiding behind vegetation now. Also, we've got an assault rifle, which is um, much more standard in this set of mods than the chain gun. But we do have different weapons that we can pick up. For example, we have more than one type of shotgun. We have the super shotgun, as well as the regular shotgun on us right now. Anyway, where's the sim pack? I'll pick that up. Then I'll pick this up. Hmm, should I pick up the soul sphere? Maybe I should. I could always leave that until later, but sometimes. It's better to pick it up straight away. I don't know. It's a pretty easy level. So I won't worry too much. And we do have a malignant essence. That gives us a particularly hard boss to kill. And I think that boss might drop rewards. Hmm. Should we see what boss it contains? I think we should. And I think we should get our super shotgun out. We can always sort of duck and hide from it. Let's not waste time. Let's not. Oh. Come back around. I hope it doesn't go inside. Ha! A new bestiary entry unlocked. Abyssal cult leader. I think the bestiary... I think, how do we access that? There's a certain button we can use to access that, but I'm... Um, I forget now. <laughs> yeah, there is an unlockable beast area, which um, makes us a bit like Pokemon in ways, I guess. But um, we did just pick up something. So what exactly was that? We got a demonic essence, which is 80 demon energy. We can use that for certain weapons that we can pick up. And we got a provisional vessel also. We also got a capacity augment. I usually put this on the pistol, unless I've got a cell weapon, like a plasma rifle or BFG, because I usually... I usually keep about four of those, so getting a bit of a capacity augment for cell weapons can be very beneficial because it means more ammo for several weapon types, but otherwise you can just put those on the pistol. So I'll just do that now. And we've also got a provisional vessel, so we can hide power-ups in that vessel and we can use them as we want, which is very handy, but I guess that's our first um, boss. Oh yes, and we got another set of hedges around here. Oh, damn it. That one really used it to his advantage too. Hmm, I wonder how many hedges there'll be in this maze over here. I think that's just a hedge I'm shooting. <laughs> Already getting foiled by this. Anyway, I think... Oh, damn it. Nice. What else we got? You can go down. You can go down. You can go down. And you too. I can see you behind those hedges. What else we got? Oh! Where did you come from? Damn it. I'm losing most of my soul sphere health already. Oh. Also, we can just flush these out and set them up with this barrel. There we go. Ah, we've got another augment. This is a haste augment. So what else have we got? We've got the assault rifle. So I've added a bit of strength to the shotgun already. Sometimes I like to add haste to the super shotgun just to make it more practical. So we might add the haste there. Assault rifle with haste can be good, but sometimes practicality is important. And we want a fast super shotgun because it takes ages to load. Oh, nearly got everyone down there. What else we got? Dead Imp. Oh, and we've got another one of those Malignant Essences, another Haste. I'm going to apply that to the Super Shotgun also. Just make it practical, especially if we're fighting bosses. 
and we're choosing to fight these bosses because you don't have to use these malignant essences if you don't want to but I think it makes it more probable that you're going to get a general roaster rock if you don't fight the bosses but I don't know I don't know how this all works and I'm using free mods at once so everything feels very unpredictable now a strength augment since we're topping up the super shotgun so much we'll just keep setting it up because I might fight another boss and there's another one here I know you're there I'm gonna get the chainsaw down the dude's hiding from me I'm not gonna bother picking up the chainsaw I'm fine with just using guns to be honest because we can get encumbered if we have too much on us in terms of weapons and we basically have limitations you can turn the limitations off if you want to in the mods but I like playing with them because that's an extra element and you have to pick and choose your weapons carefully okay is there anyone still down here nope we just got some ammo from there anyway one thing I could do I've got a fair shotgun ammo so I might go back so I'm gonna go back here because this seemed to be a good vantage point for taking bosses down so we're gonna see where that essence leads us in terms of turmoil imp uh oh it walked in shit I didn't want it to do that get out get out get out shit Uh oh Did it die? No, I don't think it did. Oh! Haha! -ha. So, two orbs there. Our health and our armor is going up now. What do we actually take? Abyssal rejuvenation, 50% armor and health and armor regen. So, that's good. So, we're going to regenerate everything. So, there is a benefit to taking down those enemies. And we still got that haste augment. Did we just pick up another one? I'm just wondering. We could make this really fast if we wanted to. I think it's fast enough now. Super shotgun. Rejuvenation is about to wear off. Well, we got pretty rejuvenated though. So, that's pretty cool. Oh, sorry, bad aim. <laughs> Maybe I'll just use this. We'll probably just retire to normal shotgun. Oh. Yeah, I'll just use a normal one. Normal one's still a bit faster when dealing with individual enemies, but yeah. Super shotgun with haste can be very useful. Going down here. Not bad. And... There we go. Completionist reward obtained. So we got two completionist rewards because we got all secrets and we got all kills. So I think that does it for this. What have I done? Sorry, I got rid of my menus for a second. <laughs> we could have used a provisional vessel, but I decided to use the abyssal rejuvenation on the spot. So that does it for this level, I guess. So I'm going to move on to the next one. 100, 100, 100, and we did it in under 12 minutes just. <laughs> so that's a bit more exciting than usual for our adventure for the nuclear plant. Certainly added a bit of a difficulty with those bosses and stuff. So next level is spawning bats. So it's all going to be out of order and interesting. Due to the map order shuffle. Okay, once again, we choose our destiny, choose a card. The effects will last until the level ends. So we've got the petrification enchantment. We've got the heavy augment and we've got the rescue mission. One's a tier one card, the petrification enchantment. This one's a tier two, and the other one's a tier two as well, and as well as being uncollected by me. Anyway, petrification enchantment, blood feed, and its species turn to stone on death. Infinite species projectiles have massive knockback with heavy augment, and find Daisy before exiting the level or else. So we have to find the rabbits. Otherwise, there'll be consequences. Probably another boss, but we don't have to pick that one if we don't want to. We could choose that one. That one's a pretty easy way out, but of course, we're picking that one because it isn't. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll have some fun. Uh-oh. Action straight away. Should we get the super shotgun out? 
That's going to use a lot of ammo, though. Maybe not. Ah, hit a wall there. Damn. Super shotgun will be very useful on fast moving demons, though. Ah, we got another one of these. What we could do also, if we drop our armor, we can pick up the blue one instead. And the blue one is a combat armor with 50% defense and 40% plasma resistance. So different properties. So maybe a bit better defense if we use that one. Also, we have an invulnerability coming up. So I think I might use the malignant essence then. Maybe we use the assault rifle for this part. Since we focus on shotguns so much. And who else? There you are. Oh. Uh-oh. Those red demons do have a uh, distance move that can spit something at you. They're not all melee in their attack. So I'm just sort of keeping my distance. Okay. Oh, and another one. There we go. What else we got? I think that's everything. Ah, we've got the punchy fist, so we can punch and do quite a bit of damage, and we've got the invulnerability. So what I'm going to do now, also we've got the completionist rewards from last level, so we'll open those now. We've got an armor, but we've already got a stronger armor than that, so we won't worry about it. And this egg contains an armor shard. <laughs> I think that's only, yeah, we've already got enough armor, so just wanted to hand us more armor, but what we're going to do now is we are going to unlock the Malignant Essence. We're going to go up here and get the Invulnerability. Oh. Come on. Down you go. There we go. New bestiary entry unlocked. Lightning Elemental. And what has it dropped? Giving us a new augment. So I think we got we got two augments from this. So precision. So what weapons do we have? I don't think we have many weapons yet. So precision augment, that, that's usually good for the assault rifle. So we've pretty much decked out our super shotgun. So let's um give the assault rifle some love. Precision and strength. That seems pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna move on. I'm gonna go around the corner. There's a Baron here. Usually I use the invulnerability for this part, but I'll be fine. It's just a Baron and a few cat goes. Hmm. I'd like a rocket launcher around here, to be honest, but I'm sure I'll have one soon. What have we got here? Oh, out of ammo. Super shotgun it is. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do this. Uh oh. Maybe just a normal shotgun. Come on. There we go. Down that imp goes. Who's up here? More imps. There we go. And there is a secret down here, I think. We've got a lever, and that opens this secret. Now we've got a capacity. I guess I could put that on the pistol again. Since we don't have a cell weapon yet, I'll just do that. Just so it goes somewhere. I'm sure we'll have plenty of capacity augments to come. What else we got? Sounds like a lot of noise. It's because they've heard me in the other room now. Because this level's very interconnected, like a lot of Doom levels are. So what have we got here? Kako. Oh, looks like they can't see me. Maybe it's because I've got the invisibility. Oh, there's a rabbit around here. Oh, oh no. That didn't cut it. Another invulnerability down here. Uh-oh. Powerful Baron. Hmm. 
Come a bit closer. Uh oh, round the corner we go. Uh oh, damn it. I'm gonna have to make sure I move properly around the corner. Down it goes. We've got a bunny out here. I don't want to shoot it. Be careful. Oh. Hey, bunny, I know you're in here. Daisy rescue complete. Awesome. Luckily, I know the levels well, so I didn't think I was going to get punished for that, but you know, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, plasma rifle, that's what I want. We've got haste organs. I think that's hasty enough as it is. So I've got the assault rifle and we've got the plasma rifle. Let's make them a bit more hasty. Yep, there we go. So is that it for this room? I think it is. I think we've found everything we need. We've got another invulnerability, but we might find another malignant essence, so I'm just going to leave that there. Okay. go. Awesome. Well, maybe I should use a bit of shotgun though. Maybe just normal shotgun. It's always good to have a bit of normal shotgun usage. And have strength for them. Rock launcher. Uh oh. That's making me nervous. <laughs> All that teleportation. And I don't think we can complete that little puzzle there yet. So I'm just going to keep going through here. Mm -hmm. Whoop. What else we got? A lot more in here. I do have the strength augment still, but there's a lot of weapons I can use that on and I'm not sure where to put it. To be fair, like I could add it to the super shotgun, assault rifle, rocket launcher or plasma rifle. I'm actually starting to think though, maybe I should really just finish off my super shotgun and max out the current augments. You can um, add more augments, but you need an augment for matter first. And anyway, I'm just kind of wandering around these rooms. What else have I got to do? Oh yeah, I can go in here. Awesome. Sometimes I leave that Kako Demon behind. <laughs> what else we got in here? I don't think we can fully access this area. So what else should we do? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just leave that. I'm just gonna try to, yeah, I'm gonna skirt past that. We do have the blue key, so we can go back here. There we go, Demon down in one shot. Got a burst, is that a burst rifle? No, it's just an assault rifle. I can hear... Ooh, I see you there. I don't know where he came from. But he was wandering. And I found him. Just like that rabbit. Oh! Damn it. Okay, lever? Or switch? <laughs> Not really a lever, it's actually just a switch. Okay. Maybe. Oh. What else we got around here? Oh! One more of those. One more shotgun guy. Okay. Going back through here. Yep. This is a great shooter for taking out pinky demons now, this super shotgun. Bears well with imps as well. Oh, it's actually pretty awesome. So, our first fully decked out weapon is doing quite a good job for us. Down you'll go. Did that take it? Oh, I thought it took out the imp as well. <laughs> Down you all go. Oh, I know what I could have done with that invulnerability and I might still do it. We're going to use our provisional vessel for it. I forget I have that. So I think we might be going back for it as well. So we've got the red key now. So we're going to 
because we, we might not find another malignant essence. So what we're going to do can store power out sp spheres and will break after using an absorbed power up. Okay, so there we go. And we had a little rocket there, so I picked that up as well. Right now, I'm going to go through here because there was a lot of teleport teleportation drama. Okay. Oh, and we've got another strength augment. So, what are we going to... Maybe the plasma rifle can benefit from that. I'm just thinking of weapons upgrade next. I'm sort of planning as I go along as I play this. Whoop. There we go. All opposition eliminated, but we need another secret. And I think we've just activated it if we go back. Okay. I guess that could have gone into provisional vessel as well, but you know. <laughs> anyway, let's make this very precise as assault rifle. I think I'll start um, working on the rocket launcher a bit later. We'll work on assault rifle and plasma rifle in terms of augmentation. But what we do have is two of the eggs and an invulnerability sphere in the provisional vessel. So I think that about does that for this level. 96 kills and 6 secrets and we got all the items as well by the looks of things. Under 100 and we did that in just over 12 minutes. So next we have Unruly Evil so we're going to episode 4. And our fate is sealed and what this means is we're going to pick our first card that will affect us throughout the rest of this game. So throughout this game because there's 36 levels in the original Doom first 4 episodes. What's going to happen is there's going to be 12 permanent augments by the end. So yeah. It's going to be a lot of chaos. <laughs> but anyways, let's have a look at our cards. So we've got the Shockwave Enchantment. We've got the Frenzy Enchantment. And we've got the Distortion Curse. So the Shockwave Enchantment. Shotgun Zombie in its species shoves nearby entities away on death. That's not so bad. This one, Frenzy Enchantment. Spectre in its species will move and attack faster briefly after seeing its target. And the Distortion Curse. One monster is cursed. Killing it gives you the Distortion Debuff. Hmm. I still don't really understand the distortion debuff and all these cards are uncollected. I usually go for the lowest tier and we want to pick something non-destructive because there's going to be a lot of these corruption cards stacking that are permanent so I think I'll just go with the shockwave enchantment. Anyway, we will continue now but first let's check our eggs. It's giving us more armor. We're getting a lot of armor from these eggs this time. Oh, a burst rifle. I don't know if I'll use that. Hmm. Oh. Well, there you go. I did use it after all because I wanted to reach for the assault rifle and it was bound to key four as well. What else we got? Uh oh. What else we got? Need up here. Oh. There you go. This feels like a Doom 2 level, to be honest. I guess it's because it was made a bit later after Doom 2. I feel like maybe they took a bit of inspiration from the newer style. Oh, another imp here. Also, if we click this, go into a secret area. Oh, I saw that down there. Oh, what's this? We got shotgun, rocket launcher, and shotgun. So we got a lot of stuff there, but we've already got that stuff. It'll just give us more ammo. There's our malignant essence. I guess we're going to be fighting another boss if we want to. What else we got? Oh. What? Ha. Bit of a fancy imp there. Okay, so I want to go back down because there was another secret to get. What's this? Okay, we're encumbered now, so we're going to have to drop a weapon. Who's going to be dropped first? I don't want to drop the pistol yet because we have got capacity augments. I do like the normal shotgun still. I think I know which one it's going to be. It's either going to be... It's going to be the burst rifle. We'll just get rid of that. It's not really my cup of tea. We'll keep the nail gun around a little longer. We don't know. Is it a nail gun? Yeah, it is. <laughs> keep that around a, bit, a little bit longer. But I think the assault rifle is ultimately more useful as well. So we probably won't keep it for that long. Where will we go? Oh yes, I finally found the elevator to get me back up. 
And also, we're going to use that malignant essence. So we've got to remember we have got the invisibility, invulnerability. Okay. We've also got this plasma. So down, all those imps go. And demons too. Oh, who's that? I see you down there. What else we got? Oh yes, I want to go back through here because there was an extra area here. And there was another precision augment and we've got a second malignant essence. So I've got two more precision augments. Hmm. So I've really stacked up on haste for the super shotgun. So I'm going to add another one to that. What else will we do? I'm wondering if I should keep the regular shotgun. I don't know if I need the nail gun. Rocket launcher, I might put a different type of augment on there. So what I might do is I might use the precision, the precision augment for the shotgun. Regular shotgun, just to keep it useful. And we have found all the secrets at this point. So what else are we going to do? I'm just thinking we could use the malignant essences now. <laughs> Hmm, a few more kills to go. What have we got? We've got rocket launcher as well. So how about we just go at it? And again, and... Okay. Just shoot that guy down. We'll hold the invisibility last. And the Kako too. And they're killing each other. Oh, we got one down. Shit. Shit. I don't think we have any more rockets left. Okay, we got two down. Oh. Oh, there's a, a weapon in the light. Oh, the dark blaster. That's cool. It's also a different type of armor. We can get an armor salvager later on. But I don't think we have one yet. Anyway, we'll just drop the nail gun because I'm actually quite a fan of the Dark Blaster. We have got a Strength Augment already. Well, again, we've had Strength Augments before. So, what else will we do? So, both the Super Shotgun and the Assault Rifle are fully decked out at this stage. We haven't even started working on the Rocket Launcher. We have a Plasma Rifle. So, I don't know. I think we should start working on the Dark Blaster. So, I'm going to give that a Strength Augment. Because this is quite a cool weapon. It feeds off... The demon souls, essentially. It's got a bit of a splash radius as well, so we've got to... Hmm. I don't know if I really like this, though. I think I'm just going to do it this way. And that has hardly any ammo left, so we might have to do it this way. So it does use a different ammo type. It uses the demon essence. go here, this gets us behind here so we can pick up some more shotgun ammo. Okay, this might be a bit better. Nice. There we go. Nice. It's quite a powerful weapon, I quite like it. We'll get that lift up again because there's another direction we can go. I think. Wait, did I already choose this one? I think I did. Sorry, it's hard to keep track. Okay, I think it's this one. Yeah, I can see an extra shotgun in there, and we've got another switch. Up. Oh. So we had two types of Kako Demon there, and one of them seemed quite powerful. What else we got? Okay, so we got rid of all the kills and got all the secrets. We do have invulnerability over there. It's a shame. We do have this sphere also, so I'm going over for that too. It is a bit... Wait. No, we don't want to pick that up. 
also I want to explore one more area just to make sure I haven't missed anything this area in here while we're invulnerable Ooh, 2k damage but we've killed everything damn could have searched in there earlier this level looks like it'd be good for deathmatch with um few of the new items added in but I think we're done for now so I think we'll go to the next level and this will also be the end of the video so I hope you enjoyed that this little intro to doom with a few interesting mods I will be keeping this series up I might be doing three levels at a time but that's about it so we had I think nuclear plants spawning rats and unruly evil so our first three levels in the shuffle I'll see you all later my 2k damage is ending and I've got nothing to use it on anyway, so I'll see you all later. And thank you very much for joining me. And goodbye, and see you next time. And our double damage is wearing off, so away I go. Almost <laughs> got free, free, free for the total time, but we were three seconds off. Oh well. And where are we going to land next? Oh, spider demon battle. Well, I guess I'll see you then.